What is up people, this is Captain Jack Spear here. This week I'm going to drop the day one video of my Ecuador trip. Epic times shooting Wahoo, yellowfin tuna, kuberas, you name it, and it was an incredible adventure. So I'm about to drop the video day one and stay tuned the following weeks for the rest of the trip. Enjoy. Checking our bags in, got our boarding pass, got our tickets, and we're on our way to Guayaquil. We have probably about three more hours to go. Lucked out, we got a chance to sit next to each other, so that's lovely. And we will see you guys when we touch down. We got the big stuff. Okay. We're just waiting for the, uh, the dime bags. We got mine and his. But we got here, landed, everything's cool. I didn't know where who I booked the rental car with, so we had to check every single place. Euro and, car. Yeah, it was Euro car. And to top it off, nobody there spoke English and we don't really speak Spanish, so it was very interesting. And our car is so tiny. It is so tiny. We have everything packed in here. I'll show you later. So we're at the Airbnb. It's kind of like a hostel. I'll show you how it is outside. They got hammocks, they got Oh, sweet workout bed. Kitchen's over there. Yeah. This is our room, getting prepped, getting stuff ready. See you guys in the morning, on our way to Manta. So we are awake and ready to go, but first we have our host, Galerme, in there making us some breakfast with some fresh fruit and a lot of little else, but we'll see. Breakfast is ready. Oh man, that looks good. This is our uh, host, Guilherme. Okay, hello! It's <laughs> <laughs> a nice little place he's got here. It's a sign. It's a sign. What is that? All pescados. So we are on the road. We have about 100 kilometers left until we get to Manta. This is just day one. We're gonna do a little afternoon session with Gustavo once we get there. Get out there for an afternoon session and the targeted species is going to be snook. Before you guys lay into me about it, it is perfectly legal to hunt and harvest and fish for snook and it is legal to spear them here. There is no season, there is no regulation on them. Hopefully I get it on the Nomad pull spear from Headhunter. That thing is an absolute beast and I love it because it's right here and it folds up nice and neatly into three pieces so I can easy transport. We will check back in with you guys whenever we get to Manta. Let's go. session food in. I got the mixture of uh, shrimp and fish. David got Wahoo ceviche special and got some more plantains. It's time to dig in. It's going to be super, super good. So we're in a hotel room. We just ate and we are about to get out there and get after it. So hopefully we see some stuff tonight. Gustavo said it wasn't ideal conditions, but we might talk about it. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're here on the boat. Check it out, it's the new ride. It's the new whip. We're up in the four-stroke Yamaha. We're gonna get out there, check out the wind, and see how it's blowing out there and kind of make a decision if it'd be good to stay inshore or offshore. Yeah, that's the boy Gustavo, the man, yeah. the legend. So change of plans. No more uh, snook. The coastal waters were a little too dirty. So we are heading offshore to the uh, Cobia farm and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and try to get some wa afternoon wahoo. So we'll uh, I'll touch base in the water. We're uh, suiting up right now. Okay. 
I swim that way. We were using a CD as a flasher and the Wahoo came right into it. Unfortunately, I was having a difficult time closing the gap. There's a nice one in that, in that school that came in on yours. I was chasing after one and I turned around and I saw three chasing after your thing. Mateo hopped in the water and quickly showed us how it was done. Nice, man. Nice. Nice job. Shortly after, I had multiple opportunities but just couldn't land the shot. Alright, so we are back on the coastal side, gearing up. We got our pole spears and dive light together and we're hoping to land a snook. The water was super murky and there was a bunch of weird little squid things in the water that you could see in my flashlight. As you could tell, the coastal conditions weren't great, so this was our first and our last time of the trip that we went for snook. So we got a couple today, but we didn't really crush it. Um, it was very eye-opening. Yeah, there we go. Some goodies. Yeah, we're gonna take care of those, and unfortunately we didn't, David and I didn't get any. We had some shots, but let us slip away, but it's a good learning lesson. And uh, David, David, uh, how did you feel after today? Uh, we're gonna get them tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, we'll get them tomorrow. Uh, they should be in there thicker and it should be a little less rough and I think it'll just be better conditions tomorrow So we're gonna get some sleep maybe go out to uh, one of the local places and We will see you guys in the morning on our way out Woo.